I created these 29 information articles just for you. Information article 19. The humongous golden city, the New Jerusalem. The humongous golden city, the New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem is a humongous, everlasting golden city, as large as a continent. This is the place where God, Jesus Christ, and his elect people will live in forever and ever and ever after. Following the end times and the second creation of heaven and earth, the New Jerusalem will come down out of heaven to the new earth. The New Jerusalem will be the physical earthly location where all true believers will spend eternity with God. The New Jerusalem is 2,225 kilometers in length, width, and height. The throne of God is in the center of the Golden City. The new heaven and the new earth will no longer have any sea. The New Jerusalem will retain many features of the Garden of Eden and the Paradise Garden, such as rivers, a square shape, a wall, and the Tree of Life. The New Jerusalem is pure gold, like clear glass, and its brilliance is like a very costly stone, as a stone of crystal clear jasper. The street of the city is also made of pure gold, like transparent glass. The base of the city is laid out in a square and it's surrounded by a wall made of jasper. The height, length and width are of equal dimensions and they measure 12,000 furlongs, which is approximately 1,500.3 miles or one furlong, approximately 220 yards. The wall is 144 cubits. 144 cubits are about equal to 65 meters, or 72 yards. 12 is the square root of 144, and represent it the twelve tribes of Israel and the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ. The number twelve symbolizes completeness. The four sides of the new city represent the four cardinal directions, north, south, east and west, with the twelve gates accepting all of the twelve tribes of Israel from all corners of the earth. There is no temple building in the New Jerusalem. God and the Lamb are the city's temple, since they are worshipped everywhere. There is a river called the Water of Life that flows down the middle of the great street of the city from the throne of God. The Tree of Life grows in the middle of the street and to both sides of the river. The tree of life bears twelve kinds of fruit and yields its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree of life are for healing those of all the nations. This, inc this inclusion of the tree of life in the New Jerusalem harkens back to the Garden of Eden. The fruit the, tre the tree bears may be the fruit of life. The New Jerusalem will be free of sin. The servants of God will have theosis, the power or likeness of God, that is, in His image or holiness, and His name will be on their foreheads. Night will no longer fall, and the inhabitants of the city will, will have need of no lamp nor light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light. The New Jerusalem is eternal 
and they shall reign forever and ever. It had a great high wall with twelve gates and with twelve angels in charge of the gates. On the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of the Son of Israel. There were three gates on each side, three on the east, three on the south, three on the north, and three on the west. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each gate was made from a single pearl. The gates in the north wall are named for Reuben, Judah, and Levi. Those in the east wall for Joseph, Benjamin, and Dan. Those in the south wall for Simeon, Issachar, and Zebulun. And those in the west wall are named for Gad, Asher, and Naphtali. An angel measured the city with a golden rod or reed and recorded it as 12,000 stadia by 12,000 stadia at the base and 12,000 stadia high. A stadion is usually stated as, 104, as 185 meters or 670 feet, so the base has dimensions of about 2,220 kilometers by 2,220 kilometers or 1,380 miles by 1,380 miles. In the ancient Greek system of measurement, the base of the New Jerusalem would have been equal to 144 million square stadia, 4.9 million square kilometers, or 1.9 million square miles, roughly midway between the sizes of Australia and India. If rested on the earth, its ceiling would be inside the upper boundary of the exosphere, but outside the lower boundary. All of this means that the New Jerusalem is as large as a continent. The people who will live on the New Earth and in the New Jerusalem will be free to pursue their creative passions without the limitations, hindrances of the Old World.